to be here and this is the church, right? There's something so beautiful about the fact of there's a group of us, people from different nations, people of different ages, all gathering to sing and worship God. And what's cool, and I'm sure you're sensing it too, is that like God's presence is here with us. And what's amazing about that is God is so good, and when you get a sense of his presence, it's just like, it, it hits you in a crazy way. And for one, it's beautiful and it's amazing because you see God in such a way that he's so holy and so majestic and so powerful. And yet there's this moment where it's like, I am not that. You see, the reality of God's holiness, when we're confronted by it, when we get to experience it, it reminds us how unholy we are. But God is loving and God is gracious. And so part of this whole journey that we're all on in following Jesus is taking those steps of continually being healed from the things, from our sin, from our iniquity, our grossly misbehaving, our grossly unfair behavior. And so although there's so much joy in our worship, there can also be sorrow and repentance and contemplation. So this next session, or this next um, act of our worship will be focused towards confession, where we just get to be honest before the holiness of God and realize that we're not holy. And if there's things that you want to specifically say, maybe it's general, maybe it's, maybe there's just things that you're holding on to. But confession is such a route towards healing. And so as, as the band continues to play, um, we invite you to come up front. And when you're ready, it could be now, it could be even later on. But there's plenty of space up here. Take a knee, say a prayer, you know, cry out to God. And as it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins to cleanse us. So that's a beautiful part about it, right? We get cleansed of all of our unrighteousness. And the means in which that happens is all through the body and blood of Jesus. And so we have communion. So come up, take a moment, confess, pray, and then grab communion. If you want to take it maybe with your family, maybe with a friend, you're more than welcome to do that. And you guys are familiar with it. Take it, and then you can put your uh, the trash right in the next part. Glory to the God who is faithful to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen.